Hi, howdy, Nam West Elementary in New Hampshire. My name is Adeline Gray, and I'm a female wrestler here at the Olympic Training Center. My name is Dennis Basher, and I do the sport of modern pentathlon here at the Training Center. Tell us a little more about modern pentathlon. Modern pentathlon is five different events. We do shooting, fencing, swimming, horseback riding, and running. My event is freestyle wrestling. Uh, there's three different di disciplines. There's Greco-Roman, there's men's freestyle, and there's women's freestyle. Women's wrestling got introduced to the Olympics in 2004, and this will be our third cycle for the Olympics, and I'm really excited to try out for the team here in April. Some of my accomplishments include uh, a junior world championship in 2008, um, three-time national champion on the senior level. I have made two senior world teams, three junior world teams, and this past summer I won a bronze medal at our world championship. For me, some of my accomplishments, I'm a two-time junior national champion, a four-time senior national champion, been on the world team seven years in a row, and this past October I qualified for the London Olympics. The question was, what's the best part of my sport and what's the hardest part of my sport? Uh, I think it's one of the same, you know, winning is the best and the hardest part. It really is. And you have to, and yes, you have to go through the grind of practice every day and that definitely is difficult. But when you get down to it, it really doesn't matter about your training, your background. When you step on that mat, you have to be ready and you have to be prepared to have a fight to, to win that match and to go through match after match and make sure that you you compete at the highest level of each, each competition and ending up with that gold medal at the end, that's, that's the best part is being able to say that you accomplished something, you were able to execute you, your moves and in the competition. That's one and the same, the best and the hardest part. Just like Alan said, for me the hardest thing is just a lot of practices that we do. So that's three, four, you know, sometimes even five practices a day, six to eight hours of training. It's, it's a lot, it's very tough, there's a lot of sacrifices that go into it. but. All that training, just like you said, gets you when they get you that gold medal at the end. That's you know makes it worth it, you know, all the time. You know, I, re I really enjoy winning and yeah. You and, enjoy and, winning? I know. Any sacrifices <laughs> that go along too. with it, they're well worth it. I started wrestling when I was six years old. Um, I was interested in it because my father was the youngest of seven boys and he ended up with four daughters. And so he didn't really know what to do with us. And he didn't understand dance or gymnastics or anything like that. So it really was something that he knew and loved. He was able to get me in the room and teach me a single leg and I ended up being pretty good at it. I've been doing pentathlon for eight years and prior to that I swam for seven years and I kind of find, found out about pentathlon and was kind of a little bit tired of swimming at the time and thought, of, hey, you know, maybe I'd give it a try and I ended up sticking with it and eight years later, all the accomplishments that I have, it, you know, I have a lot of fun with it. So, luckily with me, I have not had too many serious injuries in my sport. Um, it's pretty low impact. Um, I know horseback riding, there, there can be some, some injuries if you fall off the wrong way, but I've been pretty lucky. I've had some sore muscles, things like that, maybe like a, a sore ankle or something like that, but I've never had to have surgery. Wrestling's a little bit different. You get torqued and contorted and just your body gets mangled from side to side. It's very high impact with a lot of throws, and a lot of places where you're posting on the mat and body parts just get tweaked from time to time. It's just kind of part of our, our sport. Um, I've had a couple injuries. I have one on my wrist, just like a little scar here, and I have one on my knee. I just located my kneecap in China, so that was a bit of a bummer. But you know, the, the nice part about injuries is you come back stronger every time. You, you go through rehab, and it's disappointing being off the mat, but every single time that you do go through something like that, you, you feel better for it. You feel like when you step back on the mat, you're ready, and you know that that body part is is back to full strength. Bye, Bye Miss Stratton's class. class.